Happy New Year! Guess what? We are currently in the vernal equinox. That means the sun is directly on the equator, giving us 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. Now this is a perfect time where we are perceiving nature to be in a form of balance due to the light and the form of how the earth is going around and receiving such light. So with this, I'd like to touch on why this is a perfect time to understand the flow of nature because we are entering what I like to perceive as the actual new year. Why? Because I'm more of an astrologer when it comes to the flow of cycles because I can't tell you the day of the week or what calendar date it is, but I can certainly tell you the moon phase and where the planets are. On top of that, where the zodiac sign is. So, we are now currently entering into Aries as of 10 a.m. Eastern Time this morning of the day I'm recording this video, which is the 20th, the vernal equinox. Now, we have this balance because we're starting off. So, for those who aren't acquainted with the zodiac and how that works, look at it this way. Bada boom, we have this imaginary line going on, and this line is just the flow of things going. So here is Aries. Aries is right here. It's the balance. This is the 12 hours day, 12 hours night momentum. And we are in Aries. We're coming here now. And it goes through here and cycles through peaking through the summertime to get the most light and then coming back into the fall where it goes into Libra. And this is the other balance of 12 and 12. And then we go into the winter where it's not as much light until we come back and go through the cycle again. Now, that's just the straightforward, but you can see it as a circle, perceiving however you do wish. So, with that, this is the moment of we start a new year. And on top of that, too, we have these intentions where we can start planting these seeds that we can lead or harvest in a year. Now, this year, 2017, is going to be really interesting because we can take advantage of some great energy to give a boost and manifest what we truly like to bring into the world. We can use this energy however we wish, but we got to put that energy towards it and culminate it and nurture it and bring it into being through our own being because we are beings and we do things and exist in the moment of now, the present of how we breathe and live with the world as it changes and shifts. So currently, I believe we have, the sun just entered into Aries, we got Mercury in Aries, we have Mars in Aries, we have Uranus in Aries, and in about a week from now, we're gonna have the moon in Aries, and soon thereafter, you're gonna have Venus retrograde back into Aries. So you have all these, like, they're kind of called the inner planets, because they deal with like a lot of inner stuff. But these planets, like let's say the sun is the light. Light brings what we are experiencing into the world, how we're existing. These are the primary focuses of combination. And then we got Mercury, the thought, the thinking, communications, how we're able to express an idea. That is the form of Mercury, so that's in Aries. We have Mars, the drive force, how we're passionate and move and move forward on things. That's in Aries, which is actually its native sign, so it's quite happy right now. And we have Uranus, which is slow moving, but it's been in Aries a while now. Now, with all these planets, I guess I'll also touch on the moon, which is feelings, and Venus, which is relationships and values, but that's in vetro ugh, retrograde. So we'll talk about that another time. I mean, go back on relationship video I just did maybe ugh, 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 a couple days ago. That will go more into like what relationships are and the meaning and why they exist. Now that's more of a reflection, which is more what retrogrades are because that's an illusionary perspective of seeing that planet in line with Earth going actually back in signs. But before that tangent takes us away from the topic at hand, we have all these planets in Aries and they're all opposing Jupiter, which is in Libra. So Jupiter is always seen as this expansive, collective, global like planet because it's so large, it's so out there, it's associated with like Sagittarian and Pisces energies, which is just out there, all of it, being, cultures, travel, just combining all that and grouping it as a whole. So this conflict requires some form of 
balance, which is actually the key word of the day. Like, we'll do some Pee Wee Herman shiz going on here and have my turn, my furniture talk, but that's a little creepy and not realistic. So, with this, like, conflict going on, you have all these planets, which is, like, tugging the war, and then we got Jupiter, which is, like, big enough to give a little tug to. So, balance is key, because we will see things like an us versus them, me versus you, what I want versus what you want. Now, that might come out collectively, and that might come out in little aspects of your everyday life. Do we want the ego, the self, the I, to dictate how we want to live our life? Because there's a wise question to ask as we progress through these energies, which is, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Now, being right could end up actually hurting someone emotionally and putting someone down just for the sake of boosting your ego. So we are in a period where you have to find balance, otherwise you'll end up very egocentric. With all these planets in Aries, there's a lot of focus on who we are as an I, the I am, the what I want, the what I am wanting now in this moment energy. So we got to work with that. It's a necessary energy because it gives us a driving force of identifying who we are, making a stand of how we are able to be in this moment, this now, what we desire, how we identify. And with all this here, it's great time for planting these intentions. As like I keep saying, 2017 is a great energetic year to actually use these flow of energies to manifest what we truly desire. So we are planting these seeds now to coincide with the whole cycle of planting, blossoming in spring, culminating in summer, harvesting in fall. And we are going to, at least we on those who actually take advantage of this great energy, are able to work with that. And they're going to get a nice boost. There's not going to be resistance. There's going to be like um, jumping into a river and going the direction the river is flowing. Now, if you ask me, that's easy. That's like jumping on a tube and be like, yeah, we're going to ride this one out. So that is the type of energy that we're kind of experiencing. So as this day right now on this vernal equinox, it is like a pre-week of experiencing this new intentional new year. And I say this because as much as we're in this first sign, this first day of spring of Aries, the new moon occurs about a week from now. And now that new moon is going to give us that boost, that big intentional boost to take advantage of the income in Aries energy and plant those seeds unlike any other period of time. Since the moon is so close with its relation to Earth itself, we are able to take advantage of this to an even higher degree. And it's like um, magnetics. So if you have Earth and you got the sun here, and let's say you're going to be the sun right now, and I'm Earth, so you're giving me this Aries energy, and the moon's coming around. Now, since the moon's here, it's going to pull this energy, and Earth is going to pull from that energy. So you're going to actually like get a nice little boost, and that's why new moons are great for intentions to begin with, because it's able to take advantage of the sun's little light shooting out towards us into the universal being. So, to review and touch on a couple things here, Happy New Year. Hope you're ready for the new things that are coming our way. We're in Aries season, and there's a lot of new things coming on the forefront. On top of that, this little week ahead is great for like preparing intentions, getting like a little prerequisite for how we're actually going to plant these seeds. So, you can start planting now. But the biggest impact is going to be on the new moon in the week from now. I believe it's like a 26th, 27th, 28th-ish. I don't know offhand, but it's around that time. So, yeah, take advantage of that. It's going to be good. It's a great time. It's a fresh new year. Things are looking forward for a lot of shifting in the world. Whether you want to take advantage of that so you can bring in what you desire, what you'd like to manifest, and what you truly align with, it's up to you. But hey, 
I say go for it because I'm very well going and if I'm doing something that works, I'm going to be like, yeah, it works. So my suggestion, my advice, my recommendation, the recommendation that I am expressing out into the world right now is very much of that. So, so I don't make this video too long. I'm going to wrap it up now. May you enjoy your travels and whatnot and look forward to a lot of cool stuff working on the way as well because I just uh, completed my hangman tarot illustration that's coming out soon i'll have a time lapse actually in a f maybe soon ish i gotta work on it first so i don't really want to give you a day of where i'm going to release it because i don't even know but it's all together it's completed and my next card i'll give you a hint it's going to include the zodiac signs and it's going to go to the same degree i've been doing my past illustrations so i'm looking forward to bringing that light and if anyone's familiar with my As Above, So Below design back from like 2003, 2014-ish. I said 2003, I meant 2013. So around that period of time, if you're familiar with that shirt, um, it's going to be almost like a spiritual successor. But it's going to be the card. And which card? I might as well just say it's the world card. I mean, yeah. And I'm looking forward to it because I got some great ideas. But I can't really express them because it's a visual thing. So with that, yeah, nice little tidbit of what's going on in my path. So I got this thing here, which I believe it's going to be subscribe. And then this is my website. So you can see more stuff that I'm doing, including the tarot cards and updates and whatnot. That's all there. Where you can also see the prints and all that good stuff too. And then I'm going to put a playlist here. And it's going to be here for a moment or two. 